Hi Iris, this is your weekly day by day tarot cards reading by Emma for the week beginning 30th of May 2022. Okay, I'm gonna begin immediately with Monday, okay, the 30th of May. Five of Cups, Tuesday, Queen of Swords, Wednesday, Ace of Pentacles, Thursday, Temperance, Friday, Seven of Swords, Saturday, The Emperor, and a Sunday with Eight of Cups. Your influencing energy is the world. Okay. So Monday, Five of Cups with the High Priestess. Queen of Swords with the Wheel of Fortune. Ace of Pentacles Wednesday with the Magician. Temperance Thursday with King of Pentacles. Seven of Swords with Five of Wands. The Emperor Saturday with Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Cups Sunday with Five of Swords. Queen of Wands, the world. Look, beautiful influencing energy. Your energy fire energy, joyful, enthusiastic, greatest creator, fearless creator. You see what I'm saying? Once you've got an idea, what are you going to create? What are you going to make? What from now for your future? And you're optimistic and you're joyful and you are ready. You see what I'm saying? That's kind of fiery energy you did have somewhere last week, perhaps for yourself being that something you finished, okay, something you completed, you finished, and you were very enthusiastic, you were ready, you were ready to start anew, to begin anew, you did have a great idea how to, what to, you see what I'm saying, a lovely, lovely energy, ending and the beginning with great enthusiasm, lovely, last week energies very present, perhaps this week as well. Now, Monday is kind of blue Monday, okay, with this Five of Cups, with the, uh, with the High Priestess, something from your past will come up strongly on this day, or at some way you, you failed, okay, or, or you were offended, or, or you did have difficult times, maybe childhood was difficult, or something was difficult in your past, and it will come up strongly on Monday, okay? You have to process it. Eventually, you will find peace within yourself. The High Priestess says you are on the way to find this peace within yourself, um, to understand it, to acknowledge it. Perhaps something that happened in the past, maybe you felt it very difficult, maybe you felt it offensive or something, but now maybe you're gonna process it and see it in a different way. The High Priestess might bring knowledge and understanding. It could be opposite, that on this day, something that happened in the past and you didn't really understand what it is. Now you understand it was failure, it was bad, it was offensive, it was meant against you could also mean something like that. This combination definitely calls something from your past which you were processing on this day. It's all about it. This Monday is about things from your past. You see where you're sitting now with that, how it affects you now. You see what I'm saying? That what is important with this High Priestess, how that things from your past are affecting you still now to this date. In that sense, your Monday, blue Monday kind of, Anyway, this Tuesday is far better, very much clear mind, change in approach towards your future, towards your ideas, you know, about your future, where you were heading, what you're supposed to do. You see what I'm saying? What is your way from now on? You were changing, okay? Related to this Monday, to something that happened in your past, or just related to these energies from earlier on, where you saw yourself at the very beginning with excitement, with readiness, with bravery. You see what I'm saying? Could be that this influencing energy is present here on a Tuesday, being that we have Queen of Swords, maybe Gemini, Libra, Aquarius person, maybe in your environment. But I really feel it's just your clarity. It's your understanding. This is my way. Now you understand. Change of mind. You are changing. You have changed yourself. You understood situation different. Now it's going to 
be different. You completed one phase in your life or you completed something very successfully and you did have great idea. What from now? This is movement. This is understanding, clarity. This is the way. That's what I'm going to do. This is how it's going to be from now on. You see what I'm saying? In that sense, your change, new situation, a new you related to some specific subject. You changed your opinion. You changed yourself, your approach, your understanding. Now you are seeing it clearly. Tuesday does have clarity. Definitely different than that what you used to see, used to be, used to understand. This time you are clearly seeing what the truth of the matter is. Truth you're going to see clearly on this day, on Tuesday. Lovely Wednesday. Okay, number one, two number ones. Beginning, beginning, lovely beginning. Okay, this Ace of Pentacles talks about offer, beautiful offer, something that appears from some outer source. It's about business, it's about career, it's about money making, it's about something which is supposed to manifest out there in a really lovely way, um, in a really lovely way, something which will supposed to bring abundance or, or something which will be on the ground very beneficial for you. Okay. That sort of offer you do have possibility for you to make money, perhaps. To make money, to do business, to, to make something on the ground which is tangible. Okay, whatever that is for you. And you and you already, this is something so suitable for you. With magician within you, Aries, it, it, it says this is something so suitable for you. Like you've got affinities towards that, I don't know, career or something. Or you've got particularly talents for it. Or you are just... Feeling yourself capable, confident, I can do it easily. This energy does it easily. Okay, great opportunity and you are taking it because it's easy for you. So suitable. You're doing it with your pinky. Easy peasy for you. That what is on offer. Get that money, get that career, get that success. Very easy, lovely day for you. Beautiful opportunity. So suitable for you. Temperance and King of Pentacles. Now, King of Pentacles energy within you talks about um, very stable, um, grounded energy you adopted here on this day for yourself. You are one who is planning something very stable, long-lasting money. We are not talking lump sum of money one shot. We are talking business, sustainable, something which will last with years to bring you money every month, something which will support your life from now on to make your pension fund end of the day security big values king of pentacles is much about that but look with the temperance we will say wait for now because time isn't right something is still happening around it is not right time you have to wait for something to develop this is with time perhaps you do have great idea about your business about your money making could very well be that these two days are very connected this is opportunity for job for business, for money making, whatever it is for you, Aries, you feel yourself very capable, you are taking it. This is how you're going to secure your life. But with time, okay, some sort of development around you, within you, you see what I'm saying, is ongoing. And with time, yes, you will be this business person, you'll stabilize yourself, you will show yourself in this outer world, with this business, with stability, with money making, yes, with time. In that sense, energy is on Thursday. Friday with the seven of swords and five of wands. There's a lot to dislike with these two energies, conflicting energy within you. You are kind of confused, not knowing what to do, how to do, uh, struggling to find your way because you don't have routine. You are first time doing something. Being in conflict with yourself, this is your inner energy, often talks about your confusion about things. What am I doing first? What am I doing second? You know, being, being inexperienced. Or, or something like that. The seven of swords, outer energy, could mean that somebody is taking literally something which is yours, okay? Somebody is stealing from you, okay? So be careful on this day if you were in the crowded places, okay? Something just disappears and you're confused. How could it happen? How couldn't I see this person? How You see what I'm saying? Confusion about that. Crowded places, whatever that brings chaos in your mind. Careful with things when you are not comfortable because here, 
it, five of wands, you're not comfortable with yourself. Your first time in this place with these people and somebody is stealing from you. Your ideas, perhaps, your money, your possessions, this is kind of not really pleasant day for you, Aries. Careful out there in the crowded places or, or anyhow, if you not, if you do not feel comfortable, if you are not in your routine, if it's not place you used to be, you understand, be very much on alert. Somebody can take something from you. You know, it's also kind of situation when a um, group of people there and something goes wrong, suddenly somebody points finger at you. It's Aries. They did it. You see what I'm saying? It's their fault when somebody just throw you under the bus. It's a group of people. Nobody knows what and how. And suddenly they blame you. Oh, it's Aries. Careful, um, careful on this day can be unpleasant. But look, Saturday, you in your full power, showing yourself a very capable. I kind of like to see this magician and the emperor in the same reading. It, it tells me that you're very confident yourself. Related, look, Eight of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. The, the things are happening here around your money-making, about your business, about your career. And it's very favorable. You controlling the situation. That what is happening. That what is on offer. You see what I'm saying? Whatever it is around your business, you feel very competent about it. Whether that you are studying or you are practically doing something, you are competent, you know what you're going to do with this skill. With this skill, okay, let me remind you, this Wednesday definitely shows that you do have skill, that you are confident with your skill, with your knowledge, with your talents, with that what you have at your disposals. Now here, you are doing it. You are a very competent person this week. I really feel not just Saturday and Wednesday, the whole week shows you competent, related to business career, your skill, your knowledge. You are very confident, competent that in that, in that regard. Um, I kind of feel now, look, this five of swords, five of wands, seven of swords, you might be having problems with people, careful with the crowded places, careful even if you have to be around your friends, lots of friends, you know, or, or acquaintances, or people in general, I kind of feel you might be having problems there, look, with five of swords, eight of cups, now on Sunday, Five of Swords says you will win, okay, you will be victorious here. Your words gonna be last one. You will benefit out of that situation, whatever situation. Though it's a pleasant situation, another one is offended, is a loser. And you're turning back, of course, to something which you didn't like. It could happen that you're gonna just discard this social circle, this group of people. You will just discard it because they're nasty. You don't like them. Them. You see what I'm saying? Could be that you're making that sort of decision on Sunday. I kind of connected to this Friday, okay? Friends or whatever group of people, you will turn back, go for the better, and you will feel good about yourself. You loser, you people are on the losing end. In that sense, your Sunday. Rather prosperous week. I see you very confident, very competent things happening. Very favorable week. Business, career, money, your skill in that sense. Careful with crowded places, false friends or so. This week might bring some challenges in that regard. Anyway, Aries, enjoy it.